Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do these together. We'll, we'll do them bit by bit. So the first one, uh, I've given you the speed and um, I've given you the wavelength and I want the work function. Okay. Should only take you one minute. Try the first one. No. You're using the formula HF equals function plus KE. So work function is HF minus KE, which is HF minus a half m v squared. You definitely know the H. Uh, the F is C over lambda. So you know the H, the C, the lambda, minus a half m, which you know, v squared, which you know. Right, Mishui? Right, so calculate it then. Well, today the m is always for the Oh, yes. Sorry. There you go. Do I want to do the first one? What number is uh, C? Okay. Good. Okay. Six hundred nanometers. I believe three. Yeah. Right. So when I put all the numbers in, what answer did you get, Mishu? Six point two four. Correct. Let's put that in electron volts. some, um, what you call it, magnesium with a work function of 3.68 and some light of 300 nanometers shines on the metal surface. What is the kinetic energy? Okay, 
Yes. Do you know H? Do you know F? Do you know the work function? Yes. So I'll straight forward. What is the field view like? This is the red line. Of the light, yeah. You need some information? Yes. Three point six eight. That answer? Good, let's do that one. Uh so as you saw Um, we were looking for the kinetic energy. So we have the formula HF equals work function plus kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is HF minus work function, which is HC over lambda minus work function. Um, can you give me the numbers back? Well, actually, you know what? Yeah. It, it was a H, which is number C. C, which is number 20, no, that's E, what's C? 8. No, it's not. 28. Oh, thank you. 28. Uh, over, what's the wavelength? Yeah. Nano. Uh, minus the work function. What was that for? Huh? Yeah, I got this also. Which part am I doing, A or B? A. Oh good, I was doing B. Uh, yeah, good. So this is the kinetic energy. B, what's the threshold frequency? Well, you have the formula for that, let's just do it right now. What's the formula for threshold frequency? Uh, and the work function here, oops. Oh, sorry. Uh, three point six six over H, yeah, and H is six, yeah. Right, so this is what the threshold frequency is. So can you write that down? We might need it later, the answer. Or you have it already? No. What's the wavelength? At the threshold, well, how do you get wavelength if you know the frequency? Light over yeah. yeah. Uh, what number is light? And it's over the frequency which we just got. So the wavelength is, let me put that in nano, 339 nanometers, if you can write that down. Got that? Mishri? No. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now for the last one, let me just make a tiny change to it. I want to ask you what type of light is this?
ఇంపార్టెంట్ I suppose you could start it because it's written right there. Um, a 10 by 10 centimeter square photo cell, that's like a little solar panel, it's made up uh, of a copper which has a work function of 5 electron volts. Then some light with intensity of 120 watts per square meter is shone onto the photo cell. So what you have here is you have like a piece of copper, 10 by 10, some light shines on it. There's a work function of 5 electron volts for the electrons. So the first thing I want you to do, tell me how much energy per second does the plate receive from the light? Look, no, 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 wait, stop, no. This is not a formula question, this is a thinking question. So, what's the intensity of the light? 120 watts per... Do we have a meter squared? We have more or less? We do not have this, but you have the right idea. Uh, we have smaller than a meter squared. So we need to work out how much energy we have for the piece we do have. No, should we try? You need to learn to think. Come on, try. If you have one meter square, how much energy do you get from the light? 120 watts. If you have half a meter squared, how much do we have? One we have 10 centimeters squared. So what's the first thing you should do? No. Uh, I don't think a 10 by 10 square I don't think it's a tenth of a meter square. Which is mm -hmm. We're going to have to work it out. I, Could be, I don't know if it's a thousand. I couldn't picture it straight away. I'd have to work it out. 1.8. Basically, 1.8? Oh, man. Oh, wait, you give me the final answer. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe. The first thing you need to do is something that you learned in the first lesson with me. And that's convert centimeter squared into meter squared. Do you remember how to do that? Yeah. Do you? Right, yeah, tell me. Good, good heavens, no. Yeah. Yeah, but it's from centimeter squared to meter squared. So no, 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 no! Ah! I told you! not to do it the way you learned in high school because you'll do it wrong and then we had a second lesson on this because Mir asked me how to do it I remember it was like week three he asked me how do you convert the units and I said right I'll show you again but it's the last time I'll show you so now this is for the third time 10 by 10 centimeters squared that's 10 by 10 centimeter squared, that's 10 by 10, 10 to the minus 2 meters squared, that's 10 by 10 by 0 0.01 meters squared, that's 10 by 10 is 100 by 0 0.0001 
meters squared. Or to make it a bit easier, that's 10 to the 3, that's 10 to the minus 4. Uh, what's that? 10 to the minus 1 meters squared. So you are correct. It is 0 0.1 meters squared. But you must do it like this in the exam to get the marks. You don't need every single step. 0 0.1 meters squared. Uh, so, if you get 120 watts per meter squared, how much would you get in this case? 120. No, no, because we don't have a meter no, squared. Yep. Yeah. So, how much do we get? 120 multiplied by 9. Yes, but. 12. <laughs> 12. Yes, 12. Yes, yeah. because it's a tenth of 120. 12 is the first answer. I multiply the n by 0.9 so that I got 10 percent of 1.9. Okay. Are you okay now? Yes. Oh, good. Right, part two. Therefore, how many photons strike the metal surface per second? So, what you need to do is work out um, how much energy is in one photon and then you can get how many photons. So this question now is a bit like the example we did with the phone. Can you? Yeah. But can you convert, for example, centimeter squared to meter squared? Not squared, no. No. From one inch, I think, to seventy Who's there? Sorry. Oh, um, wait, wait, come back. Um, uh, do you have business now or something? No, I'm for presentation. Is it in this room? Yeah, B3 No, no, you're on the wrong floor. Go up a level. Got an answer? Got an answer? Any of both? Yeah, that is there. No, it's not 120. What do you use? 12. 12 only. Per second? Okay. So that's 12 joules. Here we go. So the answer is 3.93 times 10 to the 19. Okay, C. How many electrons are released per second then? Maybe. Maybe. Because we need to check that there's enough energy in the photon to free it. So, um, what did I say the work function was? Five electron volts. Yes? Which is five... Uh, electron volts, yeah. Now, if I just go back here, let me just get the energy in one photon. Oops. This is the energy in one photon. Let's convert that into electron volts. 
This is the energy in one photon, 1.9 electron volts. When the photon hits the electron, will it be free? No. Nothing will be free. The electron has a work function of 5 electron volts. That means the potential energy is minus 5. When the photon hits it, the photon has 1.9 <coughs> electron volts. This will not give the electron enough energy to be freed. Instead, the photon will just bounce off. How did you find the work function was given. I mean the 1.9. You know how I found it, Mushiri. I used the formula. Which is 3.9 3.5 of 19. No, this is how many photons. This is the energy of one photon. H by the table, then you find the table. By the E. By the E. Is it okay? So how many are freed? Nothing. Nothing. Correct. So part D. Um what is the current? Zero amps. There is no electrons freed. Okay, uh, there's just one more part in here, but I'll, I'll leave it as a, a homework for you. I have to give you something to do. <laughs> the copper is replaced by a metal with a lower work function. Now let's, let's get a real metal, uh, so we want something that Could you Google, please, um, what metal is used in a solar panel? Or maybe you could as well, Adnan. I want to know what metal is used in a solar panel. I just want uh, gallium. gallium. Thank you. Okay, that sounds good. I've, I've seen, uh, we'll go with we'll go with gallium. Musharif, can you type in work function of gallium? Now we can. Can you just give me the uh, spelling of gallium? Uh, G A L L I U M. Oh, okay. As I thought, the uh, the copper is placed by gallium with a lower work function of. Okay, and uh, can you just Google the work function of gallium? Oh, that's still big. 4.28? Did you get the same? Yeah. Oh, that's <coughs> that's too big. I'll have to make up a material. Call it Stevie Neum or something. Um, I've got a table here of work functions. Oh, here we go. So I'm looking for something less than two. Huh? Less than no T. C. Where's C? Oh, C, that's five. Huh? No, 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 that's roughly five. There's a few things, isn't there? Something less than two. You should increase the frequency. There's 2.26 RB, I think. 
That's the best? Yeah. Mm. 2.26? There's 2.5 E. EU, let's see, 2.5, hmm, that looks like the best of the 2.5, what is EU, is it something dangerous, the heck is that, maybe we can get a different material, you said you were looking at some semiconductor. Yeah, what's the work function of that? Material with low work function. Mishari, you're not helping us. <laughs> I'm trying to find a material with a low work function. <laughs> you're not even trying. Look. <coughs> low work function. Material engineering. I'm just going to make one up. I um I couldn't that doesn't matter. I couldn't find one. So your homework question here is I've replaced the material with something called stevinium uh, with a low work function of one electron volt. So I want the, what is the current now? See. No, because the current is now small the elect the work function is now small enough that some of the electrons can be freed. So, it's different now. Okay, that's it then. If you can try that one at home. Should I use formula B or IV? No. I'm sorry, it's another thinking question. Uh, I know it's not for you, but you need to practice. Okay, we'll finish there. Is it for my name, YD? Mm, no.